So any guy out there that's like insecure about his size or just wants to be like bigger, would you recommend yeah, Bathmate? I would, absolutely, yes. I mean, we've, we've, you, you've used it, you've lived it, you've went through the process, and yeah. you know it works. Yeah. yeah. Want me to keep using it? Uh, I think we're good where we're at. We don't what? need anything else. We're no, good. no bigger? Yes. I'm going another 30 days. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, today we're gonna to be discussing this Alpha M 30 day bath mate review because I'll be honest with you, I had been hearing about this clip, I hadn't watched it yet. I was expecting to absolutely freaking hate this clip or hate this, this video. I actually loved it. Like I, I freaking loved it. And you know, there are some things that I didn't like about it and we're gonna discuss that today. But in general, I was actually like, all right, Alpha M, like respect, bro. And I'll tell you about why. And so one of the first things that stuck out to me was like, you know, here is this like big macho guy. Well, he's not very big, but like this macho man, I'm Alpha M. You wanna know how to dress? You wanna know how to talk to ladies? Like, look at me. I mean, I haven't seen anything from his channel since like, I don't know. 2015, but regardless, he actually has the, I, I'm gonna say courage to come out and be like, hey guys, I'm insecure about my penis size. Like, there's not a lot of guys that will actually come out and do that. So I really give him a lot of respect in that regard. Um, and he, you know, he talks about his struggles, like, you know, like this little clip here. I have always been insecure about my size. Like not many dudes like that will admit like, yeah, I, I was insecure about my size. Like every time I was with a girl, like I was always worried about it. And it's like, here's this like alpha M, like you wanna know how to talk to ladies? And, and here he's talking about his insecurity. So I applaud him for that. The other thing I liked is that he, he talked about kind of the dysmorphia that porn can cause. And he said, even though I've always uh, like been average, I mean, he says he's like six and like I'll, I'll put the little clip up here. I'm average, right? I'm right around like six, like inches, right? But I feel like this is like guys that are like five foot nine that say they're six feet tall. I mean, and in fairness, he didn't say I'm six inches. He said around six, which is the average, you know, anywhere from between like five and a half to six, sometimes as low as five, depending on what data you use. Guys, can we please just save that discussion for another day? But regardless, he says that basically porn caused him to have dysmorphia because he's used to seeing these like massive hogs. And you know, that's the reality of so many men. And there's just like entire generations of men that I feel have been ruined from pornography, either from the dysmorphia caused or what they expect sexual intercourse to be like, or you know, it, 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 well, that's a different video for another day, but it's incredibly disruptive. And then before I go further, I'm sure there's probably already somebody in the comments talking about, I saw one thing on Reddit and the guy was like, insecurity is just a term that the feminist women, uh, you know, put upon women to further, like, and I was just like, guys, like, are you serious? Like, can we, like, is it, does it really have to be pilled that we have to say, I don't know, there's just so many guys that are like, let me tell you what it means to be a man. It's like, guys, it's just, there's a lot of different definitions, okay? Anyways. Another thing that I liked is that he was help bringing this to mainstream. And guys, I already have like a couple videos out that talk about like why PE will never be in stream. And by PE, I mean P enlargement, okay? Or why it'll never be mainstream. But you know, here we, here we have like a major YouTube figure. He's got like over 6 million subscribers and he's talking about penis enlargement and talking about his insecurities with his size. Like whether or not you want everybody to know about it or when you're, you're one of those selfish pricks that you're like wants to only know the secret to enlargement and wants everybody else to be small and miserable. Like, I still think that's a good idea, even that it's more mainstream. I think about every day, basically when I'm going to get outed. <laughs> and at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I feel like my story is something that people can relate to, being insecure about their size, wanting to do something about it. And I don't think there's any shame in that. Now, like my pictures floating around, that's a, that's a different story, but you know, in general, I do think it's a good thing that he's brought this mainstream. He also brings a little bit of validity to this, meaning, you know, he's this major figure and he talks about like, yes, you can make it bigger because I made mine bigger. And I do think that there's truth to that, even though basically in this video, what he's talking about is actually temporary enlargement or just edema. I also found it funny that he was talking about how um, he was hitting all the enhancement forums, like in this clip here. I was hitting all the, you know, male enhancement forums. I was watching tons of videos. I was doing my due diligence. I was like, you know that dude was on getting bigger and he's like watching all these videos and uh, you know, I can only hope that <laughs> my, one of my videos was something he watched. And so guys, I need you guys to all go onto his channel and spam him in the comment section about this channel and that we should do a collab. I'm, I mean, you don't obviously 
obviously have to do that, but it certainly would be appreciated if you would do that. So it's help my message spread. You know, speaking of, like and subscribe this video, turn on the bell button, all that fun stuff. And so he also, um, he discusses this with his partner. Now that's a matter of contention for me because as you all know that I try to keep this basically to myself. I, I think it's a private matter and I, I don't think my significant other needs to be involved. Now in his case, he discusses like right here. She's like, you don't need to, you're fine. You're, and I'm like, I know, I know, but what's she gonna Basically, do? Basically, he says, you know, I wanna get bigger. And she's like, oh, you don't need to do that, you're fine. But, it, but he also says like, well, wh what is she gonna say? Oh yeah, I'd love for you to get bigger. It's like, can you imagine how devastating that would be? You know, I've even seen some enlargement ads and it's like, oh, I'm a girl and I got my boyfriend these penis pills and he was so thrilled and he got so much bigger. But like, I can't imagine the, the ego devastation if I came home and my girlfriend was like, here, honey, I bought you this, it might make you bigger. Like, <laughs> oh, that's the stuff nightmares are made out of. And I actually did see a, a comment like that and actually uh, a guy for a, it was like a wedding gift from his fiance's best friend. They got him a pump because the wife, their fiance had been talking about how he had a small D and how devastated he was. I did actually suggest he go check us out at getting bigger. But he also talks about how his wife understands because like she had a boob job. Like everybody's insecure about different things, you know, unless you're one of those guys that thinks real men should not have insecurities. But, um, you know, everybody's insecure. And so I think it's nice to actually hear him talk about even his insecurities um, when he's this like very rich public figure. And so what are some things he got right? Well, in general, the description of how it works is, is pretty accurate. You use negative pressure. If you haven't seen my video on how this stuff works, I have part one pumping, part two pumping of like the actual science behind it in a paper or in a urologic journal. But in general, you use a negative pressure, it distends and expands the penis. What he got wrong is when he talks about like, he puts it analogous to like a bicep pump. It's like guys, and you know, quite frankly, I have even a lot of problems with a lot of this like newer age stuff that is largely extrapolated by like, like powerlifting data or like muscle, like strength data, because we're not talking about skeletal muscle here, guys. Like we, we have a little bit of smooth muscle that's only job is to relax, basically. That's the only job is to relax so it can fill with blood. And so I think that people still extrapolate from skeletal muscle and weightlifting and powerlifting too much. Personal, you know, call it a hot take if you want, but you know, it is what it is. But he does talk about how it's exciting and fun. Like I still think like I will always do PE, at least in some kind of maintenance mode, because I enjoy it like it is fun and especially when you if you pump and you get out of the tube and you're like whoa that's awesome and for that temporary pump he also describes his beginner routine which is basically three minutes on two minutes off and he was using he started with the bath mate that used the lightest pressure it's like that is a that is solid advice there guys I mean he got it right and what I love is this little clip here it's literally like you're holding somebody else's dick. And, and I've said this before, if you guys haven't seen my like three year anniversary video or any of my other videos, like I mention this all the time. It's like, I say it's, it's, it's like holding somebody else's D. And like, here's the clip from my three year anniversary video. Who's, whose D is this? Like what in the world? But it's it? like, you know, whose D is this? Because you, you get it out and you notice like it's thicker, it's heavy, it, like it really doesn't feel like your own. And that's always kind of nice to see. He also talks about he, how, how he would like 100% recommend it if somebody's insecure. And so, you know, I'll put the little clip here. 100% I would recommend this product if you are somebody that is worried about it or you just basically want a bigger owl. But it's, but it's, you know, I kind of agree with that. Like if you're insecure about your D, like using a pump, you will immediately see that your D is bigger. Like even if you are just using it immediately before you go out on a date or go out to hook up with some chick or some dude, whatever it might be, like the fact that you know it's bigger, it does give you confidence. I've said it before, guys, BDE, big D energy is 100% real. Whatever you want to say, it's real. Um, and so it's nice to see him kind of confer that as well. So what are some things that I don't like? Well, I didn't like the fact that he didn't use vigor in his product, but I mean, for real, he could have had better results if he had used something like a good citrulline based product that is gonna help maximize blood flow and help him get like a maximum erection in the actual pump, which is gonna lead to actual permanent gains rather than just the temporary gains that he was seeing. I also don't like how in my opinion, he kind of like, maybe this is exaggerated narration, but he kind of weaponizes like his girl's opinion. In the beginning, he's like, uh, the girl's like, oh, you didn't need to do that. But he's like, oh, but you like it, don't you? And she's like, oh yeah, I did like it. And so in my opinion, he's kind of implying that like, yeah, you're fine your way you are, but if you use this pump, your girl's gonna like you even more. Whereas like what I would have loved to see is like his wife was like, dude, it doesn't matter. Like, I love you for who you are. Like you have a bigger D. 
and I enjoy it, but I, I liked you just the way you were. But it kind of kind of makes it seem like if you get bigger, like your girl's gonna like you more, or she's gonna have better sex with it. And I, I personally don't believe that a bigger D leads to better sex. It can in like indirect ways, but it's not just like a one-to-one -one translation, okay? The other thing I don't like is like, you know, no offense, he doesn't know shit about like pumping, okay? I mean, I know he said he watched a few YouTube videos. Like, I didn't know anything about it either when I first started. But like, injury risk, for example. He doesn't talk about the risk of pumping too quickly. Like, the bathmate, when you press it into your pelvis, it shoots out that water, and you get like an immediate rise in the pressure. That's a problem, guys. That can cause injuries. I know a lot of guys that have pumped up, pumped too quickly, they hear pop, D's broken, okay? They recover from it, usually. The also thing is like he doesn't talk about how that pump goes right into the neurovascular bundle when you're pressing it in at the base. That can cause problems. He doesn't talk about like discoloration. Within 30 days, you would absolutely start to see some kind of discoloration, even if it's just temporary. And he doesn't mention that. He just mentions all of the positives with this. And the, the biggest thing, guys, this is a paid promo, okay? He has an affiliate code. I've said it before, and this is no exception, including anything that I ever sell, okay? If somebody has a financial incentive to sell you something, they are often, they, they have more incentive to lie because they are gonna get paid from it. And so I just, this is not an honest review in my opinion. When I have reviewed The Bathmate in several other videos, including like tips and tricks here, or even my, like my three year anniversary video when I talk about my use of it, like I don't have an affiliate code, so I'm going to be honest as far as like what I enjoyed and what I didn't enjoy and what I would recommend. And here's that clip here, I mean if you haven't seen it, where he's like, yeah, you have to use my affiliate code to get this, okay? At, at Bathmate, he says, hey, if you dig it and you want to do a video, we'd be happy to sponsor it. We'll also give you like a discount link for your guys. And so if you guys, after this video, want to check these out or grab one for yourself, down below, there's a discount link. It's mine. I do agree with the fact that he said, personally, I would get the extreme, but not for the reasons that he mentions here, like in this clip. Personally, if it was me, I would buy this one, the extreme. The reason, I mean, I think the reason why he recommends it is because the most expensive one, okay? The reason why I recommend it, it, I don't recommend you get a bath pump. I recommend you get a high quality pump with a gauge so you know what pressure you're measuring with. There's a lot of different brands. If you're interested, our company, peakmalephysique.com, we do have pumps available that are gonna be incredibly cheaper than anything you see. It's like 70 bucks compared to like $300 for this bath mate, okay? Keep in mind what I said about financial incentive. I am no exception, guys, okay? But that being said, you want something that has a hand pump. The pumps we sell all have a hand pump and a gauge. At least with the water pump, you can gradually push out the water, and so you can actually have a gradual increase in pressure, which is much safer. He also talks about like the results. I didn't like this part. I mean, I don't blame him, but he talks about, well, in 30 days, I got a half an inch in thickness. It's like, yes, it, it, immediately after taking your D out of the pump, depending on how long you pumped, um, you can get, you know, a, a quarter inch, half inch, you know, sometimes even as much as an inch in that temporary edema. But he doesn't say like, oh, well, when I wake up in the morning, it's actually bigger because it wouldn't be bigger like that in 30 days or like 12 to 24 hours after pumping. He does mention he got about a quarter of an inch in length. Like, yeah, I mean, even just like edema in the glands, you could get something like a quarter of an inch. But he does talk about the thickness. Things I do like is he talks about how it improved his erection quality, which was one of the first things that I noticed when I start, first started pumping, with, especially within the first week, I noticed my erection quality was through the roof. And he also talks about how he lasted longer. Now, is there a chance that like putting it in the pump can somehow like slightly desensitize you like yeah however if you're putting it in the pump and you're doing kegels and you're making your pelvic floor hypertonic which i talk about in my video don't do kegels then that can actually make you more prone to premature ejaculation so you do have to be careful with that he also has another video where he talks about like his 90 day review i haven't seen that yet i'm gonna watch that and make another video on that guys but thanks for watching you know let me know what you think if you saw his video you know what did you like what did you like not like what do you think that he got wrong or, or i got wrong you know i really want to hear about it in the comments or you know just drop a comment just for the algo i always appreciate that too please like this video if you liked it check out our supplements peakmalephysique.com for enlargement aids leviathansups.com for actual supplements like this it's also on amazon getting great reviews if you need to reach me personally doc inc um, on my patreon and until the next one guys peace and love